Good morning. I'm talking to you guys today from Philadelphia. So we're going to see some fabulous American houses. And oh, look, here we go. Getting ready for Christmas. I am heading to where Rocky ran up the steps on the um, Philadelphia Art Museum. I'm going to go and do that gun pose. But first, I'm going to talk to you guys about how I value up a house in about 10 minutes so that you can do it too. And the reason we want you value up a house in 10 minutes is all the classics. We want you buy, refurb, refinance. I'll get the sun out of the way. We want you to be able to buy, refurb, refinance and rent out. We want you, when you're buying, you know, 100, 200, 300 million pound property, we want you to be able to figure out the value so you don't get it wrong. This used to take me hours, but I've finessed it down and I'm gonna share my techniques with you. But first, I wanna say hi. If you are new to me, fabulous. Well done, you found a brilliant, straight speaking, prolific property YouTube channel divided into playlists. So like, subscribe, have a look at all the playlists, deal sourcing, flipping, finding investors, just all the things I used when we did 45 million pounds worth of property. And if you are one of my regulars, then it's, you know the drill. Get a kettle on, get a popcorn in, and, and just be like, right, Suze, let's rock and roll. So how I value up a house in 10 minutes is really quite easy. Your goal is to make sure you are not using hope over experience or having optimism make your finances worse in three to six months time because your goal is either to flip for really serious profit or your goal is to buy refurb refinance and rent out which means getting a further advance from the mortgage company which means that your valuation has to be the same as the uh, mortgage company's valuation and they can be pretty cautious so we got three ways of finding out the value the first is people in the field what do i mean by that is the agents and of course you can double whammy on this one. You can, uh, I like to phone at least five estate agents who work that local area and say, look, I'm thinking of buying, you know, number one high street. It's three bedrooms over two floors and how many bathrooms? Um, done up white walls, beige carpet. What would you say it might be worth? And have you sold any in the, in the recent area in that location? So you're gonna learn quite a bit about that location just by asking a couple of questions. You don't, you know, have them on the, the phone for like 25 minutes, because that's super rude. But at the same time, like, quick call, wanna pick your brains, you're the expert. You know, what do you think it's worth done up? Oh, and by the way, I'm still buying more property because I'm an investor. Am I on your investor list? And also, do you have anything for me? So it's a double whammy. And I want you to phone five of those people because they're gonna give you up to the minute advice. Okay, so one of them might be a bit toppy. You, you know, but you use your common sense. Next, I want you to go onto the internet. The only time I ever want you to go onto the internet for properties, I don't want you finding properties in the internet. I want you finding them through estate agents because you, you're getting them fast, but that's another video. Uh, on the internet, I want you to look at what's currently on the market. And we're looking for, I'm just gonna, yeah, it's a blue sky. I just, I just wanted to show you it's gorgeous blue sky, but it was looking a bit white there. What we're looking for is we're looking for 20 that have sold. So you're looking at mass price, right move, Calnea Pro, um, uh, Zoopla, and they have a sold section. And you're again looking for the same type of property within a quarter mile location. You're, the wonderful thing about these websites is you will be able to get them, uh, you'll be able to have a look at the images of the properties that sold. So if you're looking at a very average three bed house and they've sold a penthouse, that's not for you. If there are outliers, now because we were so prolific, we did hundreds of deals, occasionally there'd be something sold and we're like, ah, we bought that one. So that was an outlier. We'd still put it in the spreadsheet, but we wouldn't use it for maths because obviously it pulled the value down too low and occasionally something crazy would happen, you know. So I don't know why, but somebody would pay crazy money for a property that if you're truthful, you kind of know isn't worth that much. So again, I put it in the spreadsheet, but I'd mark it as an outlier and I wouldn't use it for valuation. <sighs> I mean, it'd be lovely if it was worth that, but wouldn't use it for valuation. And um, the next thing I want you to do, um, we've got the solds, is go on, again, right move Zoopla, because we're looking at what's on the market right now, ready for sale. And the reason we want to do that is solds are kind of six months out, aren't they? Usually I like you to do, if the market is stable, I'm happy for you to do 18 months worth of history on solds, but not beyond that, because 
beyond 18 months, you know, it's not the same thing, is it? If the market's not stable, I want you to do a small, you know, so you're dropping or you're rising fast. I only want you to do like six months worth of history. So if you can't get 20 solds within six months history, what do you do? You increase the number of phone calls to your estate agents and maybe you only get 10 solds, but you do 20 uh, estate agent opinions or 15 estate agent opinions. But normally it's five estate agent phone calls, 20 solds, and then the final piece, the final third of the triangle is 20 on the market right now. So again, quarter of a mile radius, same type of property. So again, if it's a penthouse and you're just buying a very average house, don't include it. Um, don't include, you know, if it's a three bed house and you're buying a two bed, don't include it. Three bed house, you're buying a one bed, don't include it. Three bed house, you're buying a four bed, don't include it. You got me, haven't you? You'll, you'll want to compare apples for apples. So there you are. You are looking at five estate agent opinions normally, 20 solds normally, and 20 on the market normally. If you can't get 20 solds or 20 in the market within a quarter of a mile radius of the same type of property, you increase the number of estate agent opinions until you get a solid valuation. The key for me is actually making sure you've got at least 45 pieces of research, okay? Because this is like a huge decision you're about to make, buying a property for investment, whether you're buying it discounted to flip or whether you're buying it uh, to buy refurb, refinance and rent out. So the last thing you want to do is skip on this step, get super excited about the actual property, but forget that you're making a big risky choice and good research. Oh, look, you can so tell we're in America. See the American flag? Good research is really going to get you to where you need to be. So I hope that's super useful for you. Good luck. We did over 200 of these deals. We were very rarely wrong because of the careful research we did. Um, so doing more, re I mean, in the first 42 flips we did, we actually sold them, can you hear a helicopter? We actually sold them for 402,000 pound more collectively than expected. And that's just because if ever it was like 210 to 220, I always went 210. I never, you know, I'd love to think it was 220, but I never ever put it up high. I always was like, right, let's go on the lower valuation for cautiousness. And then when you get surprised, you're like, woohoo, you're winning, not losing. So remember to like and subscribe for the YouTube channel so that you get all of the latest videos. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber. I'd really want to welcome you. And also, I spent a long time really creating a brilliant education website for you guys. It was the education I wanted when I started and I couldn't get. Everything downloadable, academies, packs, checklists, uh, on-demand webinars, you know, when you, you got a problem to solve, like how do I flip? You know, how do I find a discounted deal? Oh my goodness, what's all this about investors or how do I do joint ventures? You want to solve the problem straight away. And that's why I've created all that education for you on my website. Hop on over, have a good look. It's called thegoodpropertycompany.co.uk. I am now off to Rocky, Rocky Steps. <laughs> to run up those 72 steps in Philadelphia and then go to the market for a donut. See you soon. A key question is, how do I get started in property? Write yourself a plan. I have written you guys a pack, how to write a business plan and deliver business success in property. You can download it now.